What's up YouTube, it's Guy Kicks here with another review and in today's video we're going to be talking about the second colorway of that MLE Endor and New Balance collaboration in that 993 model. So I'm definitely excited to talk about this shoe and give you guys a detailed review. But before we get into the review, let me show you guys a first look. Real quick guys, just a reminder, if you're someone out there who's interested in buying any sneaker cleaning products, definitely check out Rejuvenator. I have a link in the description below where if you use that specific link, you'll be able to receive 10% off your purchase. I've used their products before. I even have a video on how to clean leather and suede, so definitely check that out. So if you're interested, definitely hit up Rejuvenator for any products. All right, guys, so here they are, the New Balance 993 and MLE Endor in that taupe, blue, purple, and black colorway. I was able to snatch this pair through the exclusive access that happened on January 21st, 2022. So once I heard through Instagram that exclusive access was being sent out, I started checking my emails that morning and I did get the email, I believe it was around 11 a.m. and I was able to get in and purchase the shoe. According to the email, it did say that the exclusive access was giving me a second chance of buying this colorway. Both colorways released through a draw selection, which MLE Endor is known for doing. And then once you enter the draw, they pretty much notified everybody within two days of the draw. I was able to hit on the B from Broccoli pair because that colorway definitely had more pairs than this one. This one was more limited. This colorway shot up on the resale market. I personally think that the B from Broccoli colorway is the best one out of the two. But like the old sneakerhead cliche, once you get this pair in hand, it definitely looks a lot better. The primary color on this 993 is that taupe color, which you'll find on the overlays of the upper of the shoe. And the overlays are made out of that pigskin suede. The underlays on these 993s is that blue mesh material. And then you do have some perforated nubuck suede on top of the mesh material on the toe box and then also around the heel collar of the shoe. The sock lining on these 993s is in the black color. The insoles are also in that taupe color and then you have the MLE Endor branding there on the heel part of the insole. The tongue on these 993s is primarily made out of that mesh material in the black color. The top of the tongue you have the New Balance Made in USA embroidered and then you have a cutout with the 993 and then underneath that you also have the lace loop with the end logo around the toe box area you do have a small strip of 3m on the lateral side where you'll find the end logo similar to the medial side they're both made out of that 3m reflective material all the way to the back of the shoe and as you can see here around the heel collar you'll find some additional mesh material in that blue color also that purple nubuck as well on the heel counter on the lateral side you'll find the 993 model number and then you'll find a cutout with the MLE Endor branding above the heel counter you'll find a small strip of 3m the midsole on these 993s is in the all black color this 993 uses absorb dts for the cushioning system you'll also find a translucent heel stabilizer in that purple color and then on the inside of the heel stabilizer you'll find the new balance name in black the outsole on these 993s is made out of rubber and is mostly in the black color you do have some purple colors here as well you have endurance all the way to the heel part of the outsole on the mid part of the outsole you'll find the new balance branding and then you'll find like these plastic inserts in that purple color just to help with the stability of the shoe these will come stock with the black cotton flat laces but they also come with a pair of the taupe color and also this purple and taupe color as well as you can see here i have one with the black laces and the other one with the taupe laces the shoes come in this custom mle and door box which is a cool detail for sure and that's the official tag in sku in terms of sizing with the 993s i always go a half size down for my normal true to size size 10 so for example like a retro one and nike dunk those sneakers i go with my true to size size 10 some of the non-made in usa's like a 2002 r a 574 those i go with a size 10 as well but with most made in usa new balance sneakers i go a half size down so with these i went with a nine and a half and for me they fit perfect in terms of comfort the 993 is a really comfortable sneaker so don't sleep on this model obviously you have other popular models like the 992s the v5s the v3s v4s etc so those do get more love than the 993 but if you're able to cop a pair of a 993 it doesn't have to be this one but it could be just a regular gr you'll definitely be happy especially if you're someone who wants a 992 if you don't want to spend that resale value on that one go with a 993 kind of looks similar to a 992 and it feels very comfortable as well. So my final thoughts on this pair guys is that overall the materials and construction here 
are pretty much spot on. You know, anytime New Balance and Emily Andor get together, I feel like they can't lose. They always do such a good job. And with this 993 and this colorway, they definitely nailed it once again. You know, I'm not gonna lie, the beef and broccoli was the one that I really wanted when the initial drop happened. And when I didn't get this pair, I was fine with that. I was okay with it. But getting a second chance and exclusive access from a brand like ALD and these type of collaboration, that doesn't happen every day. So when it does, you almost feel obligated to take advantage of it because it doesn't happen a lot. So Matt props to them for doing that because it definitely brought the resale value down. And maybe those who did didn't get a chance to get these in that second drop maybe they may consider paying resale but not for that crazy price that was months ago i think i saw these at one point nine and a half for close to seven hundred dollars which was crazy but now i've seen it you know around 350 something like that so maybe those who really want them and want to pay resale that definitely seems more affordable than paying over $700 for these. But overall guys, I'm happy with this pair, happy with this colorway, even though the black midsole and outsole still throws it off a little bit for me. I wish they would have gone with a different, you know, choice of color blocking maybe, or maybe a different color. I think the black midsole still throws it off, but it's still a cool colorway. Definitely happy to have it in the collection. And I'll be rocking these very, very soon. And you guys will see pictures on my Instagram. So with that being said, let me lace these bad boys up and show you guys how they look on feet. Alright guys, so I hope this video brought you a detailed look of the New Balance 993 and Emily Andor in this taupe blue colorway. Let me know in the comments below if you prefer the beef and broccoli colorway or this one here in this taupe and blue colorway. And like always guys, thank you so much for tuning in to all the new subscribers. Thank you for joining the channel. I appreciate you. Definitely hit that like button if you liked the video. Comment below. I'll also leave a link to my Instagram page where you guys can go follow me there as well. I like to post pictures of what I'm rocking, you know, share information about sneakers, any links like that where you guys can go cop. And that's it, guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.